Quidditch at choice. I'd say it's one of the most important aspects when you feed a fishing, regardless of the terrain that you're faced with. Whether you're on a commercial fishery using a nine foot rod, only underarm and a feeder, or even chucking it 20 meters, 15, 20 meters up to an island, it's really important to choose the right, right quiver tip, right up to your longer rods, your, your 12, your 13, or even your 14 foot distance rods, where you're really exercising and punching that feeder out a long way on these big open waters for big carp and bream. There's two different divisions. When it comes to your distance fishing, you actually want to get away with the stiffest tip possible to combat all the elements you may be faced with on these big open waters. Wind, undertow, water movement, skim, all those elements really do play a big part on the tension on your quiver tip, but also the distance that you're fishing. So when I'm looking for a quiver tip to marry with, let's say, long range feeder work, I'll always opt for the stiffest tip possible. That is a massive advantage, especially when it comes to exercising that further distance, because the, the stiffer the quiver tip, the quicker rod recovery there is. And the quicker that rod straightens up during the compression of the cast, the further you can cast and the easier it is to actually cast at range. But also, like what I've said before, you've got all those elements to contend with. By the time you've put that rod down, you might be fishing 80 meters or even further, You've got a massive amount of tension on that line and you need that stiffer tip to really combat all those elements yet at the same time read actually what's going on in your peg whether you're fishing a method feeder or a window feeder it's the same principle yet today on a commercial fishery uh, i've got a 45 meter chuck uh, i'm at hawcroft today 45 meters chucking that feeder up to that far bank so i'm using the 10 foot aero x5 Beautiful rod, absolutely love it, especially for this kind of fishing. But it's completely the opposite to distance fishing. This rod comes with a half ounce, a three quarter ounce and a one ounce. Now, a lot of people dictate the quiver tip choice by the weight of the feeder that they're casting. And yes, if you're gonna be casting a long way, you want a quiver tip, like what I've already explained, to marry with that particular um, division, that particular approach. But today, it's completely the opposite. I'm using a 35 gram feeder. So with that bait in it loaded up, I'd say it's a casting weight of about 45 gram. This rod is a 60 gram casting weight. But as bizarre as it sounds, I'm actually only using a half ounce quiver tip. I wanna use the softest quiver tip I can possibly get away with. And the reason for that is, you can imagine that feeder's landing in that shallow water against that far bank, and I want to read all those slight little movements, but also the softest quiver tip gives me that cushion. So when I've got fish in my peg and they're swimming into my line, I'm getting loads of indications, which you do get with a method feeder. That soft quiver tip really does cushion that movement, which as a result, it prevents my feeder from moving. At the end of the day, I want my feeder to remain in a really nice tight focal point where my hook bait is, all my feed is, and the fish are coming to that bait. If that feeder moves away from that area, I'm defeating the whole object. So therefore, if I use, let's say, a one ounce tip, there could be a very good chance that there too, could be too much tension on the line, a fish swims into the line, and as a result, it moves the feeder, and you've got to recast and repeat the process. But also, a soft quiver tip massively gives you a good insight under the water of what's going on in your peg, all those little indications, and a build up to a bite. If you see an indication in your head, you think you may get a bite at any minute, but with a stiffer tip, you might not even see that little indication. So it really does help you keep in tune with what's going on underneath the water. So this particular rod, as I say, it comes with three quiver tips. Half ounce, three quarter ounce, and one ounce. And sometimes if let's say the wind picked up today, the wind really picked up, therefore the toe picks up, I may have to swap to a heavier tip, but as a golden rule, when you're commercial fishing, always go for the softest tip. And when you're distance fishing, always go for the heavier tip and you stick to those golden rules and you will not go wrong when it comes to quiver tip choice on commercials or natural waters. Mm -hmm.